Hey, young friends, Dr. Bill here. As always, I'm glad that you could join me. We're continuing to work through our series of big names in the Bible. And today we're going to focus on Ezekiel. Ezekiel was a prophet and his name means God strengthens. Here's a little bit of his story. You may recall from our previous lessons that the Babylonian people had defeated the Hebrew people. They had destroyed the city of Jerusalem. They had destroyed the temple. And then to make matters worse, they took a lot of the Hebrew people, they uprooted them and they made them move to Babylon. They made them move from what was their homeland to a strange land, a foreign place. Well, Ezekiel was called to be the prophet or the preacher to the people who were living in exile. It was his job to continue to speak the word of God to the people, even though they were a long, long way from home. Now, the book of Ezekiel is long, and it is a very difficult book to understand. There are lots of wild visions and crazy things in it. So we're going to devote just one lesson to the prophet Ezekiel. And the lesson I'm going to give to you today comes from one of the most famous chapters in the entire book. It comes from chapter 37. Here's the story. One day, Ezekiel had a vision. He believed that he was transported to a valley that was hot and dry. And all over the floor of that valley, there was nothing but human bones, skeletons. They had been bleached and bled white by the sun. And so when he saw this uh, valley full of dry bones, God asked a question. He says, can these bones live? Well, Ezekiel, thinking that maybe that was a trick question, said, okay, God, you know. Well, as soon as he said that, Ezekiel began to hear something really incredible. He heard the sound of these bones rattling. And as he watched, these bones sort of came up off the floor of the valley and they began to be reassembled into human skeletons. Now, can you imagine that? Bones flying all over the place, rattling and uh, being connected back together, and suddenly they become human skeletons. And not only that, they become clothed with flesh and blood. The dry bones become people. They live again. Now, this fantastic vision conveyed a very, very important message. By means of this vision, God wanted Ezekiel to tell the people of Israel, I know you're in exile. This is a strange land that you're living in. And you may be without hope. You may think, you know, here we are a long way from home. Everything is strange. We don't know if we'll ever get back home again. We're just like a bunch of dried up bones, dead skeletons, and we have no hope. Well, God gave Ezekiel this vision to say to the people, yes, you have a future, and your future is not going to be in Babylon. The day will come, says God, that you will all be able to go home, and you will be able to start your lives all over again in the land that you love. It will be like a, a skeleton of dried old bones coming to life again. You have a future and this exile will not last forever. Well, that's the message of chapter 37. Here are two important lessons that I think we can draw from this experience. The first is, God always finds a way to speak to God's people wherever they are. You may recall from our previous sessions that God has 
raised up prophets at different times to speak to the people, to either encourage them or to call them to repent. Well, the same is true here. Even though the Hebrew people were in exile, they were a long, long way from home. God did not want those people to be without a message, without a word of hope. And so God appointed Ezekiel to continue to speak to these people even though they were a long way from home. The idea is, is that God always tries to find a way to get through to us. God never wants us to be without a message from Him. And that's what Ezekiel's role was as a prophet to the people who were a long, long way from home. The second lesson is this. As the vision of the dry bones shows us, God is in the business of creating a future, especially when we don't think we have any hope of a future at all. There's sometimes that we think, you know, uh, life is, is pretty empty. Uh, we don't have a whole lot to look forward to. We're about as alive as a bunch of dried up, bleached out old bones. Well, God says there's always possibility God says there's always a future. And God says, I'm in the business of creating a future, especially when you don't think you have one. Well, those are the lessons that I think are really important from the prophet Ezekiel. That'll do it for today. As always, if you have any questions, you can send me an email, a text, give me a phone call. I would love to talk with you anytime you have questions. And so I wish you well for today. I hope that as you wind up the school year, that everything goes just really, really well for you and that you have a great, great summer. I'll look forward to seeing you again next week. Take care. Bye-bye.